and chances are you probably do too. According to Edelman's Trust Barometer, banks are the second least trusted industry in the world, right on par with that other despised industry. <gasps> Never mind. Seems like banks are always trying to do a number on us. For example, when you transfer money to someone who uses a different bank, the money seems to leave your bank immediately, but it can take days before it lands in the account of the other guy. So what's the deal with that? Don't you play dumb with me. Ralph? Is the bank pocketing interest we should be earning? Or is it using our money to make short-term trades? Or fishing for overdraft fees? Or some other unsubstantiated rumour I read on the internet? What the hell is going on? Because transfers between people who use the same bank happen in a flash. Isn't that right, Ralph? <laughs> You're good. I'll break you. All right, this is a stick-up! Give me all my money! Oh, yeah, it's all about the Nelly Melvers. Come on, let's go! Say, look who's coming this way. It's Chris Hamilton from the Australian Payments Clearing Association. He'll give us the scoop. Say, Hamilton, when a transfer going to a different bank takes ages, is that because the shady cats at the bank are nicking my interest? What? Why? <gasps> well, it's complicated. But if the banks aren't being a pack of massive <laughs> then what the dickens is going on? <laughs> Let's take a look around the back. This is how we think bank transfers should work. My bank should send your bank flying money using a special technology computer. Unfortunately, real bank transfers are nowhere near that fun. So how do they really work? We'll just say Craig here's had some bad luck on the nags and he wants me to transfer him some money. Yeah, no worries, you old bugger. So I make the transfer, then what happens? Well, my bank sends his bank something called a clearing message. When they receive it, the money is his to waste. But not so fast. The clearing message for this transfer is bundled together with all the other clearing messages going from my bank to Craig's bank. All banks send and receive these bundles of clearing messages six times a day, under the supervision of the Australian Payments Clearing Association. The problem is you have no idea how long it might take your bank to put your clearing message into one of those bundles. It's like trying to send your money by post, only you have to rely on a carrier pigeon to take it to the post box, and you have no idea whether that carrier pigeon is going to make it in time. Sorry. And if your complaints are anything to go by, that carrier pigeon has a lot of issues. Christ, you're terrible at running. And which bank is doing something about it? Of the Commonwealth of Australia's Reserve Bank. Step on it! The RBA and its buddies are developing a new system that will make bank transfers instant, sometime in the next two years. In the meantime, if you really need to make a transfer to a different bank happen pronto, like, say, to pay your getaway driver, there are a few ways to make it happen in a flash. Using NAB's Flick app is not one of them. They promise instant transfers between Flick app users no matter which bank they're with, but in the mighty fine print, they also say that transfers outside the NAB usually go through on the next business day. <sighs> you know I'm good for it. Combank and ANZ offer similar apps, but neither of them claim to be instant. So let's forget about technology for a minute and look at the good old-fashioned ways. Some banks offer a real-time instant transfer if you go into one of their branches to make the deposit, but they have to use a faster, more expensive service to do that, so it usually comes with a fee. But if 
you're that desperate to make an instant transfer that you're willing to go into your bank and pay a fee, why not go straight to their bank and make a cash deposit? That way the transaction is free and instant. Oh, I know. These banks are bloody shocking, aren't they? Oh. Sorry.